The episode starts with a courtroom scene as Victor was arrested by the FBI for the murder of Quentin Dickinson in the previous episode. The judge tells Victor that he will be under house arrest as he has posted federal bond. Victor asks his lawyer how he got the money for it, and he tells him that Jack arranged it. Victor wonders how he got that much money. Keisha is sitting with Ronnie in a hospital room, and she is informed by the doctor that her son has sickle cell disease. Keisha is worried that it might be a life-threatening disease, but the doctor assures her that with lifestyle changes and careful modifications, it is possible to live a long and healthy life while having the disease. She further tells Keisha that she needs DNA from both parents to look for potential genetic diseases to control the disease complications. Bianca wishes Dota a happy birthday, but Dota seems occupied by some things and tells her to leave as he is not in a celebratory mood. Taylor gets an ankle monitoring device while leaving the court and is told by his lawyer to abide by the rules of house arrest to avoid further complications in the case. Taylor gets into the car with Shad and Jake and asks them how they got the money to get him out. They tell him it was found in a bag outside the house. Victor seems upset about it, but he is calmed down by Jake. Rosalind walks into Emmett's restaurant, and there she meets some new faces like Damien, who is Emmett's half-brother, Dom the new chef, Jamal the dishwasher, and Serena, who is deaf and is helping in the kitchen. Rosalind tells Emmett that the diner needs updates, including renovation, a bigger kitchen, menu expansion, and some new marketing strategies like free meals. Emmett seems reluctant about it, worrying about expenses. Ezekiel tells Papa that he should put up a fee for his podcast. Papa disagrees at first saying that the word of God should be available free to everyone. He tries to convince Papa as the money might help him expand his work in the way of God. But Emma tells Taylor she is going to her mother's house as she needs a break. But Kerry is told by his teacher that he needs more practice to become a better writer. He is at first upset about it, but then is cheered up by his teacher as he gives him a laptop to work on upgrading his skills as a writer. Keisha is sitting in a cafe with Fatima, and they both console each other. Hearing about their respective issues that they are both currently facing with respect to their relationships and family, Damien tells Emmett that he should inquire where the money is coming from as it could cause him to end up in jail. He asks Damien how he can fix the issue, and he tells him he has to either cut ties with Dada or kill him. Damien asks Emmett to let him talk to Dada about it. Victor tells Dada that he doesn't want his money as it can be a source of trouble for him. Victor also tells Dada that they have found Quentin's DNA in the car but Duda assures him that it won't cause trouble as long as he remains silent about it. Marcus and Tierra are seen getting a family photo shoot. Ezekiel tries to convince Papa to charge for his podcast by telling him a story from his past and about his difficult childhood as his father passed away when he was young, and he spent his teenage years on the streets, and how he ended up being a pastor. Papa seems convinced by it. Keisha is seen at another doctor's appointment and is told by the doctor that the DNA sample she gave doesn't match with her son. This shows that the abductor is not Ronnie's father. Donut is seen enjoying with his folks, and he overhears something Big Carrie says and in anger breaks his laptop while also showing him that he knows about the book that Big Carrie is writing. Isis, upon seeing Fatima back with her bag and finding that she is taking a break in her relationship with Victor, consoles her and hugs her. Alonzo tells Victor that the Dia wants to cut a deal with him. He will be able to continue working as the councilman and will get protection if he turns Donut in. He disagrees to it as he is worried it might land him in trouble, but Alonso tells him he will end up in jail if he doesn't take the deal. Damien meets Donut in a bar and tells him that he can help him with keeping him with money trail issues, but Duda seems not interested in it. Papa finally adds a paid subscription to his channel. Dota is threatened by Alonso as he wants him to stay away from Alicia, his ex-wife and his son, Robert. In the next scene, relationship issues between Marcus and Tierra, and between Sean and Alicia are shown. Alonso also visits Alicia and tells her to ask Robert to contact him. Keisha and Emmett suspect that Nuck might be the father of Ronnie, and they inform him about it in the diner. Jake and Bakari try to think how Dauda found out about the book. Jake thinks his sister might have told Dauda, but Bakari doesn't believe it. Victor and his friends are seen sitting in a men's circle and they all discuss their problems and give possible solutions to each other and console each other. Alonzo is seen getting into his car, and as he sits in, he is shot by a masked man sitting behind. Keisha introduces Ronnie to Nuck as his biological father, 